Hey, good morning, everybody. Hope your weekend was awesome. Welcome here to the Sports Talk Network channel, and this being what I'm trying to do more often, quick videos. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> Sorry about that, which I did that before. I won't hit play. But, um, anyways, just wanted to do uh, a quick video, or at least a video here in regards to talking about, um, my fandom in regards to My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. The season finale was yesterday. Well, actually, no, it wasn't yesterday. It was Saturday night. And I really did enjoy it. I do have tweets on my Twitter, both my Animated Awesomeness YouTube channel Twitter handle at cartoon underscore reviews. And my personal handle at army underscore strong underscore zero six, which is pretty much the same tweet. I copied and pasted it to each other, but... I shared how I enjoyed the ride that was the three-part finale and how it was kind of cool in regards to the ships and um, the ships, the relationships that came together were, were endgame in, in the universe. Uh, I found out there's a season 10, but it's going to be in comics. So it's not, obviously the TV show is over, but I guess in comics, they're doing one more season in that way. In between what was the end of the actual finale finale and then the epilogue or the aftermath or whatever word I was I'm looking for there, but that's what that'll be there, just there for in comic form. Then the movie coming out in twenty twenty, series coming out twenty twenty one, I believe. So I look forward. Everybody check out Kyron Chase. Um on his YouTube channel, Kyron Chase. Subscribe there, ring the bell. Uh, he will be doing a review, his in depth review of the finale when he gets around to it. Um, with college and and being home for however long he's home, he'll, he's busy, you know, so he'll get to it when he gets to it. Um, find him on Twitter, Splash Bro, Kyron, uh, and read his thoughts in tweet form there. But for me, I just wanted to share here, not my review of the, of the finale, that will be over on my other channel later this week, Animated Awesomeness. But I did want to share my fandom in regards to when it started and how it's grown i became a fan or regards to got into this pony universe around i know exactly when it was it was during the break during the during the mid-season break of um perfect pair and discord and harmony i think the episodes were that i guess at the time when i my friend told me about the show one game said hey you should you should try it because i was on him um, rambling and, and being a persistent Nelly of um, wanting him to give a chance to Star vs. the Force of Evil. So I gave MLP a chance, he gave Star vs. the Force of Evil a chance, my friend Kyron, Kyron Chase. And on my end, I started, I, I, I watched um, Discord and Harmony and Perfect Pair. Again, I think that's the other episode, Discord and Harmony. I'm sorry, I'm forgetful. Um, but both episodes I loved, and then I realized, by myself, even without asking Kyron, but I asked him to clarify, they actually didn't come out yet in the States in regards to, because that was supposed to be, is going, was going to be the start of the second half of this, of that season, it's going to harm me for repair, where in another country it already came out, and was the end of the first half. Of that season, if that makes sense, or 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 it was just an early release date. That's just how I saw it at the moment, and that was kind of weird to me. But different, blah blah blah. And the reason I gave MLP a chance was because my friend told me about it. He is my co-host for the Ramble. Um, yes, he hasn't been on for a while, but it's cool, so I understand. Um, but so I did it out of respect to him. You know, he's my bro. He's my buddy. Um, He's a good friend of mine. So, out of that respect, I was like, okay, give it a chance. You know, if he likes it, I might like it sort of thing. You know, we are into some of the same things in regards to cartoons and other things. Like Sonic. Sonic, I mean, the hedgehog. But, I go, okay, I'll give it a try. I probably won't like it because it's ponies. It's a kiddish girl thing or whatever. And I'll just watch it. I'll just watch these episodes or two or whatever and... Just do my due diligence, kindly give it, give it a chance. You know, like the no thank you portion of a meal when 
when you, when you might not want something, but you're doing it to respect your family member or better half, you know, or, or whoever. The point is, you know what I mean? And that's honestly how I thought at that time. So, if Kyron's watching this, then now you know. But I love those episodes so much that I binge watched from season one to that point. So I could be caught up, and I just finished catching up before the second half of that season started with Discord and Harmony per and Perfect Pair, which I already seen. Um, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, right away, I, you know, maybe not right away watching, I was hooked, but when I got to Perfect Pair and, and, and stuff. Now, remember, I did not watch, even though I said I did, but I didn't. I actually first, I binge watched season one to that point before watching those episodes. Because if I watched those episodes on their own, without knowing what the heck was going on with the story, then if I didn't like it, I would have ruined it for myself. It's one of those, if you don't like it, then who cares? But I thought, okay, if I do like it, I thought on that way, it's positive, right? Glass half, glass half full mentality. So. So I actually did binge watch and then watch, you know, God's honest truth. Um, I didn't watch those two by the Romans, but I did watch them before they came out in the States, meaning I binge watched and finished watching all those, all the other episodes because I wanted to see the other ones literally over a weekend. And he told me about the show like on a weekday, I think it was a Wednesday of that week or whatever, or not that week or whatever week it was and blah, blah, blah during the break and then that weekend. I carved out a whole bunch of time, pretty much all my Saturday, um, because I had the time to then, um, and what, because at that time I wasn't working and stuff like that, but carved out time, watched the whole freaking series up to that point, and I mean that kindly, like I love the series, but I just, but I did watch the whole beautiful series up until that point, then I found wherever I found to watch Discord Harmony and Perfect Pair. I think I found somebody's reaction of it or something already in other country. Good thing they speak English too. But um, someone from Germany, I believe. But anyways, watch that their reactions to someone watch the episode, um, and then and then I guess the rest is history. Just fell in love with it, continue to watch it, watch it here to the end, and now I'm sad that it's ending. So I can't say I was one that watched it from the very beginning in regards to being a fan since 2011 or whatever year it actually did start, 2013. Um, but even though I wasn't as there as long as most of you out there, or Kyron Chase himself, my buddy, I still have mad love for Mamma P. Gen 4, consideration. And the reason why I didn't want to give it a chance at first when Cameron brought it up was because I remember subconsciously, obviously, not consciously, of how kiddish and kitty they were in the other generations that I that I did must have seen in some way on the past. So I'm like, what the heck? You know, and but again, out of respect to Kyron. I gave it a chance. Just like he, out of respect to me, gave a chance to Star vs. the Force of Evil. Difference is, on his side, he didn't like it. And I respect that. Okay? He didn't have to love it just because I loved it. We're still going to be friends. We are still good best friends and such. Just because he doesn't like the show doesn't mean, oh, um, we're not friends anymore. No. The same would have been on my side. If I didn't like MLP, he would have respected it, understood and be like, well, I love it, but you don't have to love it. So, I'm happy though, in regards to my end, that it worked out and that I watched it. I know, binge watched, loved it. Oh, man. A lot of great episodes in this series, obviously. A lot of great moments in this series as well. I might do a future video over on my other channel, if not here on this channel, Sports Talk Network, um, my favorite episodes and stuff like that. I might have Kyron on, or others, but for that, but 
I still say in the end, my number one pony. Uh, <laughs> number one pony is uh, is Pinkie Pie, followed by Twilight. And <laughs> my favorite, um, you know, other pony in regards to or other character, you know, again, that's not a background, but is a but isn't a main six. So, I mean, it would be Discord. Me, my number one, and then number two. Come on now, great and powerful Trixie. Trixie, my favorites in that regard. And I would have to always say, I don't have to, but in my opinion, I say that my favorite episode of the whole entire series, I would say, would be, um, I would say would be, uh, dang it, that's the name of it, Magical Mystery Cure, season three finale. Sorry, I'm moving my, my hand to the camera. I'm using my phone. Um, that would be my number one. Magical Mystery Cure be my favorite episode of the whole gosh darn series. Hey, I'm a, I'm a sucker for musicals. High School Musical, that was my stuff. Even though in 2006, I was a high school senior, not, you know, 12 to 15 years old. I was 18, but I still love that stuff, each and every one of them. But the point is, I also, you know, love the episode. And I think my favorite, my second favorite, actually, will be the second half of the finale. The ending of the end, part two. If not, the um, aftermath of... Uh, where everybody was, what is it, 10 years later, 6 years later, 20 years later, whatever years later. Big spike. Pinky with a kid, little cheese. Rainbow and Applejack together. Hashtag lesbian couple. Sorry, my dog. Being a guard dog. Guard dog. But, uh, yeah, those are my, my favorite episodes and favorite things in regards to MLP. I certainly enjoyed it. Bella, it's okay, relax. Bella. Bella. All right, sorry about that. No, oh, kids are uh, going on the bus. Bella? No. Oh. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, Bella. Hmm, <laughs> the Browns. Alright, anyways, um, yeah, so that's my favorite stuff in regards to, uh, MLP, sorry about the other stuff, but hey, life, you know? Anyways, um, and plus I'm a one-take person, so I try to do everything in one take, even if I can delete this and restart. But, thank you, Kyron, for bringing me to the MLP world. I will, I will at you in a tweet. Hashtag deal with it, but no, I'm just kidding. But, um... I want to thank Iron Chase for bringing me into this show, bringing me into this fandom. I know he would have understood if I watched or binge, started binge watching, didn't like it, and moved on with my life and day that that Saturday. But I didn't, and I and I, and I was hooked. To be quite honest, I was hooked by I think it was episode three or two or three, if not the premiere itself. And Fluttershy was so freaking adorable. I think that's what got me, <laughs> beyond all the other characters. I joke, kind of. <laughs> but again, thank you, Kyron Chase. I can't say thank you enough. If not already said thank you enough to you, buddy, to bringing me into MLP. I don't know about you, but I will be giving this next generation a chance. Designs will be different, things will be different. But I also thought to give this a chance for you, Kyron, for my friend Kyron, but also 
you know, it was 2018, 2000, whatever year it was, you know, with that season, around 17, 2018, and went, you know, I'm sure it won't look as cringy in regards to the actual episodes themselves as too girly or too kiddish, that the designs would at least appeal to me that make me want, kind of want to stay or give it a, a, a true chance. The designs, the character designs of the of the towns or the areas or the kingdom or whatever that would be, right? You know, of what I now know, Canterlot, Ponyville, Equestria in general. But, so I gave it a shot, loved it, and I think Cameron for that. But now I'm moving heading into 2020 and 2021. Dang it, sorry. 2021. I certainly look forward to seeing how this new generation is going to be. Are these characters changing? If only, if only the new generations are continuations of the past generations of what the characters were, just with a different design and look. But then again, how would this Gen 4 could have been, would have been if that was the case? And what past generation villains might come back for the next generation, like technically Gen 1 did, uh, with Tyrick, and what we thought was Grogar, I guess not. I guess he really was still banished, or I don't think he was killed, he was banished, defeated, or just defeated in general. So, he does not count as a Gen 1 that came back because of the Discord pretending to be him. I think that's how that worked. But anyways, I'll talk about that in my review over on the other channel, Animated Awesomeness. But for one last time again, thank you, Cameron, and I will um, look forward to your review of the finale. But I just wanted to share my thoughts in regards to my love for MLP, where it started. You're welcome to share in the comment section below your love and where it started for, with MLP and, and how long has it has it been from the very start. Um, have you written fanfiction, ha fanfiction, fanfics? Have you yourself... Then the message boards, right? I love the show, but I haven't really dabbled in there. I've, you know, subscribed to and joined some message boards, but never really interacted too much over there. I have enough with five Twitter handles, podcasts, and doing a Who Done It game on Twitter at Who Done It Spooked. And I'll be hosting my own in 2020 next year, starting in June. But. So, have you watched it from the very beginning? Are you a fellow YouTuber that want to talk to MLP? Either way, I look forward to hearing from you. But, um, sorry, I'm, I'm almost speaking like Dr. Wolf here on YouTube. I am not going to steal a bit. <laughs> but I will say what I usually say at the end, <laughs> as my sign-off, that I hope you have a great rest of your day. I will see you guys in my next video, which probably... It will be <laughs> Wednesday night with the um, podcast of uh, the NFL that I have. This is us, which the episode is on Tuesday, but I probably won't get to the video till Thursday or Friday. Uh, so this is us review, Riverdale review, NFL podcast, WWE podcast on Saturdays now, um, and my my next case will be on the channel, but it will be unlisted, and it won't become it won't become listed or public until the end of the game and I mean the end of the game not just if I'm eliminated end of the game for me but end of the actual game the finale which will be on Halloween which is also my nephew's birthday he will be turning two Caden but uh, anyways with all that have a great and glorious day I'll see you guys in the next video and above all else as always Take care.